Jurassic World Dominion will be hitting theaters in just over a year on June 10th, 2022. And last week, we revealed some early merchandise art from the movie on a kid's backpack, no less, that showed off some visual elements, specifically some tied to a certain large new dinosaur species. And now, pieces of fabric, yes, you heard that right, pieces of fabric have released, giving us more clues into Dominion's story and what the sequel will focus on. From this point forward, we must emphasize that the following information and images may contain light spoilers for the movie, so if you're avoiding them, then avoid this video. However, these are phase one assets and are meant to debut before the film itself, and in all likelihood, show nothing that the first trailer won't reveal. In fact, they're mostly reiterating what the end of Fallen Kingdom set up. At the end of Fallen Kingdom, many of the dinosaurs escape from Lockwood's Manor and into the Californian countryside, and we're treated to shots of these dinosaurs in new environments. This idea continues in the short film Battle at Big Rock, which further emphasize that dinosaurs are now living in our world, with the short film posing the question, is this the new normal? This sets the picture for Jurassic World Dominion, and we can now learn a lot more about the state of the world by a series of new merchandise that's hitting store shelves. First revealed by Twitter user at MagpieAJ, Fabric of all things is showing up in stores promoting the upcoming film. Along with these shots of the fabric seen in the wild, this website lists the fabric and shows us a full image of the designs. And we can see a lot from this design. While low resolution, we can make out the following. Mountain T-Rex encounter, Raptor country, Raptor chaser, pursue, protect, preserve, Velociraptor observation committee, Dinosaur Observation Committee, Triceratops Observation Committee, Rural Dinosaur Conservationists of the USA, Mosasaurus Breach Watchers, Brachiosaurus, which is in front of the mountains that look similar to the Arcadia logo, Gallimimus Midwest Passage, the Dinosaur Transitional Integration Authority. Along with this piece of seemingly random fabric, clothing has hit the shelves too, showcasing some of this artwork. These Uniqlo t-shirts show the Dinosaur Transitional Integration Authority, which so far appears to be exclusive to these shirts. We can also see that these dinosaurs are in forests, and in some cases in front of snowy mountains, something that is going to feature for the first time in Dominion. Some of this artwork really is beautiful and states things like protect dinosaur wildlife, let them roam, local outreach, and this one, do you remember the first time you saw a dinosaur? Remain quiet and keep still. Avoid the urge to run. If you encounter a T-Rex or any kind of dinosaur, please contact the US Department of Fish and Wildlife Office. These pieces of clothing and the artwork on them further emphasize this Jurassic world that we now live in, where dinosaurs have broken out and live in the more wilder parts of the country. Encounters may happen, so the government have had to put out guidance on what to do if you encounter one in the wild. This wasn't John Hammond's dream. It's also fun to note that some show the snowy environment, something we mentioned in our previous Dominion video. Alongside this Jurassic World logo is an emblem for Neighborhood Dinosaur Watch. We're unsure if this is an in-movie organization like the DPG or if it could purely fall within merchandising, building on the film's neo-Jurassic themes. Also noted are signs that will be displayed in public or in national parks, informing people to keep their distance from dinosaurs, fully emphasizing that when we enter Jurassic World Dominion, we will be entering Jurassic World, a world where dinosaurs are in the wilds among us. This is demonstrated by artwork channeling a US national parks look, with topography and dinosaurs surrounded by facts and plants. Unfortunately, the art is a little too low res to make out what is being said in most of these shots. However, perhaps the most interesting one is a caution sign depicting an Apatosaurus, warning people to keep their distance. Something you'll usually see signs of for animals like bear and moose. The world is changing. This next piece of fabric shows us more icons, one stating they were here first, which is throwing off major DPG vibes, and a big one, Raptor Country. In an interview we conducted with Colin Trevorrow back in 2018, he mentioned, the world I get excited about is the one where it's possible that a dinosaur might run out in front of your car on a foggy back road, or invade your campground looking for food. A world where dinosaur interaction is unlikely, but possible, the same way we watch out for bears or sharks. It seems that we have now reached this reality, with raptor country indicating raptors, or specifically blue, is still out in the wild. The artwork states, 
for use in tracking the Velociraptor. But the most interesting part and potentially larger spoiler, Blue seems to have a baby. Standing right next to her is a baby Blue. But how is this possible? Did the Arcadia ship house other Velociraptors that we never saw? Unlikely. In the supposedly canon video game Jurassic World Aftermath, Dr. Wu mentions that Blue was designed for parthenogenesis. A few years ago, I trialed a monitor lizard polymerase to promote parthenogenesis. You remember the result? Blue. Wait, you want Blue's DNA? No. Samples are kept in cryogenic storage. I, I need... Director authentication. I can show you how to get it. If you're confused, don't worry. There is a rare form of reproduction known as parthenogenesis, where an egg can develop into an embryo without being fertilized. It happens in rare instances, but happens with insect species, but also reptiles and other animals are capable of this. Parthenogenesis creates a direct clone due to no new genetic material being available, and is usually a survival mechanic to allow for offspring to potentially mate correctly to carry the species forward. We may be unsure of how this will all play on screen, but the idea of a rare form of genetic science being used for survival is very Jurassic Park, and ultimately very Michael Crichton in its style. If handled correctly, I feel this can be a fantastic piece of on-screen science to balance the action and adventure that this movie will have, and will drive home the theme, Life Finds a Way. We should note that while this information reveals some of the initial story for Dominion, these pieces of fabric aren't leaks, in that they are actually part of what would be called Phase 1 marketing for the film. The dinosaurs all use Fallen Kingdom renders, even the baby blue. New renders will arrive closer to the film's release. This is a tone setter, focusing on mostly what is known, and if we had to wager, if blue does have a baby, the first trailer will use that as a plot setup. So what does this all mean for Jurassic World Dominion? With over a year to go until release, we're still sparse on details about the movie, but we do know the world will be entering. And that is one where numerous species of dinosaurs now live among us and occupy our national parks, forests, wide open spaces. You may encounter a dinosaur in the same way you may encounter a bear. And of course, Blue's capture or containment will likely play a part in the film, with many people including Dr. Wu after her for her unique DNA and others likely none too happy about having a Velociraptor in their backyard. So what do you think, and are you excited for Jurassic World Dominion? What dinosaur would you like to encounter while hiking? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below, and if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more Jurassic content. The Jurassic Outpost store is open, selling Jurassic themed shirts, mugs, masks, and more. Head to JurassicOutpost.com forward slash store to check it out and check the description for links to Zavi. Use discount code Outpost20 for 20% discount on both the Primal and Festival clothing collections, and you can use Outpost10 site wide for 10% off your order. As always, head to JurassicOutpost.com for more news and information.